Hey everybody, it's Justin from Justo Show with you behind the scenes. And in this video, I just kind of want to go over the Moho's new uh, switch selection. Let me clear this. I got it over here. It, now, this is an awesome feature that Moho has added to their product, which I I love, by the way. Now what this does is it allows you to quickly switch your layers without having to, you know, take a lot of steps like clicking. Let me go ahead and pull up my mouse. So I, let's see, do I want to open, mm, I guess I'll open this project. So all my characters share the same mouse throughout my yeah all, all my characters share the same mouth so I have one file just for the mouse now let's just pretend this is on a character and we're gonna lip sync some stuff let me pull up the timeline too and we're not going to really need this so we can get this out the way we'll keep that there all right so here's my tips and some advice for you guys to lip sync fast. And it's not this doesn't only apply to lip syncing too. This is for like hand. If you have hands, you can do. If you have your hands in a switch layer, you can do the same thing. Just anything with a switch layer is you're able to use this right here. Now me personally, I have my mouse in a switch selection and inside this selection or this folder this group I have a folder a switch folder just for talking I have some like this frowning in here because you know if if somebody want to frown I can easily make them frown like that or I can just have uh like just a neutral closed mouth or MP MBP and then in here this is where I have my expressions now I don't have much in here now because you know I, this 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 is just a library so it'll build up over time but instead of putting it all in here where I use on a on like you know where I mostly use for talking I just put it in its own folder now the reason I did that is because now that I've used this quite a bit I'm used to knowing where all my positions are and how I have my positions are I started off with the smallest mouth so this is like the rest slash MVP and then we got this and then it slowly opens up and get wider and then it goes into the O's and then after the O's, I have the F's, and then the uh, L, which I probably should put between I and O. But it really doesn't matter. But these, these kind of got added last because I forgot about them, so I just added them in there. Same with the frown. So, I mean, I can go around and change it now. Let's add it to, let's see. Uh, We'll put that in here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to change it because I'm already used to having it this way. So it's just like everything is here. And then I got these. These are the last three. So there is one more I need to add. It's like it's like uh, a O where you can see the T, the teeth. That's what I need to add in here. So. I'll do that later. Now, some tips for when you actually actually start to lip sync. You should take your left hand or your right hand, whatever hand you don't use your mouth mouse with. Take the opposite hand, put your index finger and your middle finger on the left and right arrows, which you can see I move them down here. And then you know you can just let your mouse hover over here. So 
when you go to lip sync you can just slide and you can pick stuff and then you can just keep going and then you can just do you know just go back and forth and if you mess up or you have something like this which you shouldn't you you don't want anything like this I mean cuz it just looks weird at least have two frames in between a switch so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear that one so yeah you can actually clear it and it'll delete it so it's a great tool you know it's a great addition so me when I lip sync now I lip sync very quick so it's just pretty much just going doing stuff like this oh look I did what I said I didn't do and if you hold your arrow key down you know you can actually go through and listen to it I don't have an audio because I just don't have one up right now but it, it doesn't matter the same thing applies even with audio you just syncing it up to the audio so so yeah this is the lip sync or the switch selection tool if you're thinking about upgrading your anime studio to moho i highly recommend it it's, it's pretty awesome so now when i play it through you can see it like doing something i mean that's a horrible thing but yeah so i'm going to end this video right here and then i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace out